Stop, start, not ready, battery charging. What the f Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So this is our 2019 Jeep Cherokee. Recently, the stop start system decided to no longer function. In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to resolve this issue. But first, real talk. If you would like to see more content like this, it would help me out tremendously if you either hit the like button or subscribed for the YouTube algorithm. Plus, as a bonus for that, here's some cool stuff. Once we realized that the stop start system was no longer functioning, I scrolled through the menus and came across this screen. So in addition to the stop start not ready screen, I wanted to scroll through the menus and check everything else out. That's right, the on run position. Ooh, that's a lot of beeping. While scrolling through, I came across this very angry looking screen. No battery voltage. It was at this point that I knew it was time to test the battery. To do this, grab your favorite multimeter and set it to 12 volts DC. Next, you can grab your prongs. Red goes to positive and black goes to negative. A healthy battery will read somewhere between 12.4 and 12.6 volts. The easiest way to verify that your battery has gone bad is to throw it on a battery charger and wait a few hours. After the battery has been on the charger for a few hours, you can come back out and read the voltage. If you have a bad cell or your battery has gone completely bad, you can quickly see that after you turn off the charger, the voltage will drop off. As a side note, most auto parts stores and battery stores will have a high-end load tester and they'll test your battery for free. Our battery was in fact no good. So with that being said, there's a couple things to look out for. The first being your battery type. This is in fact an AGM battery or an absorbed glass mat battery. It's different than your standard flooded type. And then there's also your cold cranking amps and your amp hours. The easiest way to pick out a new battery for your vehicle is to go online, input your year, make, model, and engine, and it'll give you a list of all compatible batteries for your vehicle. This is the battery that we chose to go with for our Jeep. As you can see, it's an AGM battery. We can expect to see better performance from this battery as the cold cranking amps and the capacity exceed the stock battery. Okay, so the only tool you're going to need to take out the battery is a quarter inch, quarter inch drive socket handle with a 10 millimeter socket. And what you're going to want to do is come over here and detach the negative terminal first. Pretty easy as long as you got the socket going the right direction. There's the negative terminal. Now I can actually work. This is great. I'll detach that. Tuck this up where it's not going to get in the way. Take your 10 millimeter socket. Loosen the positive terminal. Wiggle that off of there. Tuck it out of the way. And then next, what you're going to want to do is remove, remove the, the insulation jacket. So now that you got your extension, you can actually take this down. That bolt right there is a clamp that's holding the battery in place. So you got to loosen that bolt in order to get the battery out. Here's a more clear look as to what this hold down looks like inside the vehicle. And also, make sure to clean your battery box. Use a vacuum and soapy water. All right, so you're gonna wanna clean your battery terminals. Just make sure, these are pretty clean as they are. They really don't need much, but if there's any corrosion on there, just make sure to get it out of the terminals. Wire brush does the trick. This one really isn't ideal. It should really be a round wire brush, but whatever works.
right, so time to install the new battery. Just make sure that you remove the caps and the terminals are clean. Goes in there like so. Before you attach your connections, make sure this is out of the way, make sure this guy's up out of the way, before you attach your stuff, make sure you put your cover back on the battery. It's going to be a little bit finicky because a whole bunch of stuff for it to get caught on. Such about as good as we're gonna get. You're gonna reinstall the positive terminal. Make sure it's seated nice and flush. It's straight. And then take your negative terminal, which you tuck back here to get it out of the way. Go ahead and reattach that. Don't forget the electrical plug that sits on top here. Get you tucked out of the way. And then tighten your negative terminal. One last thing you can do is add some silicone grease to the metal surface to help prevent erosion. With the battery replaced, it took about a day of normal driving for the stop start functionality in our Jeep to begin working again. The vehicle now also seems to run smoother. As a side note, make sure to check out all my other content. And if you haven't done this already, make sure to subscribe. Taking shots, yeah, cold blooded, icy. Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing. In the front row, run it up when they hype me. The following grows, they know how to ignite me. Call me CEO, I've been running sh right, see. And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane, making pleasure out of pain, uh. Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss.